Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I am going to be drawing on the young Jessica and Amelia banner. And I was just waiting to see if someone would get, let's say, an off banner, like Averian has. So with that off banner, uh, I'm going to draw very soon. So the character I'm hoping to get is actually young Jessica. Because ultimately though, both heroes are, they're not collaboration banners, so you can really get them anytime if we're being perfectly honest. But if I can get young Jessica, uh, she's the character I would consider building up, whereas Emilia is not really a tank I need, since I already have a 6-star Landius and 6-star Juggler. Other people may be in a different situation, they may want the tank, but just for me, I just particularly want young Jessica. So, I previously drew on the... the last time I drew was on the Clarets banner, and I drew 90 times without getting a single SSR. So, I haven't drawn since, so if these, uh, if the so-called pity rate carries over, I am guaranteed to get an SSR in my first 10 draw. Right. After thinking about it for a bit, I think I'm going to summon a bit more for Claret because in order to use her in the future, I am going to need quite a few shards of her. So I'm just going to try to get a second copy ideal. See how this goes. So this is thirty summons now. Forty summons. Fifty summons. Summons. Wow, I have not gotten any SSR. 70. Eighty. Ninety. So my last 10 summon should be a guaranteed SSR then. And in this case, I might as well just hold on to it to save that for the Yu Yu Hakusho banner. So I didn't get any SSRs in 90 summons, so if the pity rate exists, the next summon I do should be a guaranteed SSR. So hopefully when the Yu Yu Hakusho banner comes, my first 10 summon will instantly be an SSR. Thanks for watching everyone, Nitro out. So you just saw those 90 draws on that banner, and now I'm going to start trying to draw on this. So let's see if I get an SSR in my first 10 draw, right? because this is my technically my 100th draw here. I got an off banner Angelina. Shit. <laughs> So I did get an SSR, so I think the pity rate does exist, but for me it was an off banner, so I'm going to have to, I guess, keep drawing as a result. And I got young Jessica from the next, wow! Very nice. So there we go. 20 draws, 2 SSRs, 1 young Jessica, 1 Angelina off banner. I'm not going to complain about that at all, right? Uh, sort of a change from my previous bad luck. The interesting thing is, I guess, uh, last time, as I mentioned, I had a hundred, it took me a hundred draws to get that first SSR. And then right away from these two, these 20 draws, I got two. So I don't know. Luck seems to be changing yet again. You know? Last time I was getting terrible numbers of SSRs. Now I got two SSRs and 20 draws. So it just comes and goes, that's what the SSR drawing luck is, right? But now I guess I have my Angelina <laughs> at 4 stars. 
and I now have one of the, the character that I wanted, young Jessica, who I am definitely going to start grinding up her shards, right? So I'm not going to have her available to me for Apex, uh, for Apex Season 2 playoffs, but I will have her available as an option for Apex Season 3, right? Uh, her main use would be, as I previously mentioned in those previous videos, as a siege tank, right? Uh, she has, when she activates her goddess state talent, uh, divine bestowment, she loses 3 mobility, but gets uh, increased skill range of 3, and the cooldown of all her skills is reduced by 3. So the ma I think the main use of that is first you could potentially refresh the meteor cooldown significantly, but second of all, the more important part is that with the extra range, she could launch extreme range attacks. So skills like her cleanse attack, right, and her default fireball attack could have instead of just 2 range, I believe they have 5 range. So she's able to attack at 5 range, which is very, very extreme. Not very many characters can attack at that kind of distance, which is a pretty nice advantage, I have to say. So that's the main reason why I would seriously consider building her up, right? There's almost no characters who can attack at 5 range. So that could be a big advantage for future um, challenge battles and so on, where the enemies may not have 5 range and cannot retaliate against young Jessica whatsoever. Okay, so that's it for this summoning video. Thanks for watching everyone. And on that note, Nitro out.